So you've learned how to add vectors and subtract vectors, but what about multiplying vectors? There's actually two ways to multiply vectors, but in this video we're just going to focus on one of the ways. And it's called the dot product, sometimes it's called the scalar product, but these words mean the same thing, dot product, scalar product. Let's jump straight into an example and see what the dot product is and how to calculate it. So here's our formula for the dot product. Uh, if we've got a vector and it's equal to ai plus bj, where a and b are numbers, and we've got another vector, vector equals ci plus dj, we can do something called the dot product, which is represented with a dot. We can say that u dot v is equal to ac, these numbers, multiplied by, are uh, added to bd, these numbers. So this times this plus this times this. Uh, let's just do it on a vector real quick. So here are our two vectors, and I'm going to find the dot product. So we can now say that u dot v is equal to 2 times 4, the two i components, plus the two j components, uh, 3 times, and this one's an interesting one, negative 1. All right, so that's uh, 8 plus 3 times negative 1, which is negative 3. The dot product is 5. The scalar product is 5. Now, the word scalar means number. And you can see that when we multiply these two vectors, you might think that you would get another vector. But when we do our scalar product, you don't get a vector, you get a number. Now, a couple of things to note about your dot product. It doesn't matter what order you do it in. A dot B would be the same as B dot A. We say that's commutative. Uh, matrices isn't commutative under multiplication, but vector product, or sorry, the dot product or the scalar product is commutative. We can also say that k times the dot product of a and b is equal to k times a dot product b. Uh, so those are equivalent as well. And we can also say this, that a dot kb is the same as that, which is the same as that. We can say that a dot zero, zero is like a zero vector, it's a vector with zero length. Um, we can say that a dot zero is equal to zero, that makes sense. We can say it's distributive, uh, and that means that a dot b plus c is equal to a dot b plus a dot c, uh, the distributive law, so you can see that that's distributive. And finally, we can say that a dot a is equal to the magnitude of a squared. And you might actually want to try that just by taking u2i plus 3j and finding the dot product of that. And you'll see that it ends up feeling a lot like finding the magnitude. So a dot a equals the magnitude of a squared. And that'll get more important as we use a second version of the dot product. But this is our first version of the dot product using this formula here. Here are some important properties of the dot product. In another video, we're going to look at a different way. Uh, to calculate the dot product.